distant ancient trees Runs the ghost like horse so proudly Silent as the breeze Thara, they named him Thara He's the son of the wind, strong and free Thara, they named him Thara And the king, yes, the king Nature has a way with her. Things that might at first glance seem twisted or gnarled have their own beauty and their own uses. But man, who professes to love beauty, loves convenience more. The time had come when man wanted a more convenient way of getting to the high country. And if that meant spoiling some of its beauty, then so be it. But it was a while before the mountain creatures realized what was happening. be rain. It doesn't smell like rain, but it sounds kind of like thunder. Very strange. Mm -hmm. And that'd be right, that'd be right, deliberately standing there silent, just where you know I want to go. We were talking, Wombat. What's that? Walking? You weren't walking, you were standing still. Now, where's my son? Your son? I'm sure I don't know. Yeah, that'd be right. Yeah, yeah, that'd be right. Any trouble, any problem in the high country, straight to Wombat. Get him to help. Upset his day. Disturb his routine. But as soon as Wombat needs help, no one can be bothered. Just a minute, Wombat. That's not true. Anyway, how are we supposed to know you've got problems? Yeah, well, you're supposed to know. How were you supposed to... I just said me son's moving! You deaf! I've got to find him. I'm, 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 I'm very worried. Of course we'll help. Now, where did you last see him? Oh, typical. Typical. Always questions. No action. I might as well just keep looking by myself for all the, all the help I get. You can't win with Wombat. He's all right. Yeah, old Wombat's all right. Nothing wrong with war. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, he does like having something to complain about. <laughs> yes, and Wombat's got a tough hide, so he'll be okay. Let's see if we can find baby Wombat. <laughs> oh, typical, typical. Mopoke. Mopoke. Ah, oh, hi, Mopoke. Good morning, Mopoke. Still up? It is time for the world to rise and shine. Anything else would be a waste of time. You haven't seen Baby Wombat anywhere, have you? His father's out searching for him. If it's a clue you're after, I may be some help. Just keep your ears open for the sound of a yelp. Sound of a yelp? That's not much of a clue, Mopoke. <laughs> huh? While not all creatures are as smart as a grey kangaroo, Mopokes are known to be pretty smart, too. I'm 
Morning, Hey! Oh. <laughs> uh, oops. Oh, uh, sorry, Thara. He's Thara. I'm Benny. Time for you to go home, Baby Wombat. Your father's looking for you. He's very worried. Well, whatever you say, Thara. I, I, I was just having a game with my friends here That's and... That's all right. Games with friends are important, but not worrying your father is more important right now. Off you go. <laughs> yes, yes, off I go. <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> typical, typical. Yes? Uh, oh, nothing. Uh, typical of me to uh, run into something. That something was me. Your home is back that way. <laughs> yes, that's where I want to go. Thank you, Thara. <laughs> oh, bye, dingoes. <laughs> Thanks for the game. Bye, Wombat. Come and play again soon. Hello, Benny, Thara. What are you... Looking after wayward children, I think. Very wise. Ever since the men started building that track. What track? It is said to be near the Prospector's Creek. Six horses wide, <laughs> so to speak. I don't believe it. Why would they do that? It's true enough. Haven't you heard the noise? A big metal monster they have, grunting and rumbling and growling. So that's what the noise was. It's a great danger to all the high country creatures, especially the little ones. That's why I'm trying to keep a close eye on my two. Oh, oh, that'd be right. Always something in the way. Well, oh, that'd be right. Oh, kookaburras, kookaburras tend to laugh till they drop. But if you ask me, they have the brains of a mop. Mopoke, Mopoke, you're so fond of yourself, but to me you're just a stuffed bookend on a shelf. <laughs> I'm a poet, and at least I know it. <laughs> no, I don't like the sound of this, Thara. No good's ever come of man and his monsters in the high country. Well, that's why we're on our way to see it for ourselves, isn't it? Seeing is one thing. Doing something about it is quite another. Listen. The thunder's stopped. Not another one. <clears throat> rubbish, rubbish and more rubbish. That's all I ever find in this creek. I'm sick to death of picking up after that stupid road gang. Not a brain among them. He seems very angry. Who can blame him? The last thing we need is the stream choked with a load of man's leftover junk. <coughs> You're a long way from home, Whitbird. <coughs> no, I'm not. I haven't got a home anymore. Whoop. Got to find a new one. It's the monster. Whoop. I think we'd better find this monster double quick. <laughs> This is just awful, Benny. How could they do this? It's going to get worse, Thara. Our mountain kingdom is shrinking. This big path will bring more and more men. Mopoke, Mopoke, shed a tear. If they must have a road, why put it here? Why come anywhere near the high country? What do they want? At least the mountains and the ram's head and the sentinel are safe. It's easy here on the river flats, but the rugged mountains will beat their monsters. We'll always have somewhere to live. Don't be too sure, don't be too certain. This road could be our final curtain. <sighs> Just look at this lot. Mankind's legacy to the high country. <laughs> Oh no! There it goes! More noise and smoke! It's enough to make any bird choke! <laughs> What's this? Oh, horror of horrors that! been abandoned in that tree. Their fate has been left all up to me. Ah, that's a relief. Scram 
scrambled eggs were not to be. But it's a shame about that lovely old tree. Mopo, Mopo, thank you for saving my eggs. I no longer think you're just the dregs. Ooh. Oh, that's okay. I'm glad to help you. And I'm inclined to think you're not so bad, too. <laughs> Oh, sire, sire! Ah. What's the panic, Karawong? Oh, mighty Brolga! It breathes fire and smoke and rumbles and roars! What are you talking about, Karawong? Calm down! It's yellow, makes grinding noises, devours trees and belches toxic fumes! All right, Karawong, what's the prize? Prize, oh worshipful wonder horse. For guessing the answer to the riddle. <laughs> I don't think you understand, mighty Brolga. The men creatures have invaded with a monster that is consuming the high country at a rate of one large lake per second. What? That's what I've been trying to tell you, sire. The smoke and the noise, all from this Hideous beast. Get going, Karawong. Lead the way. Yes, sir. We'll show them, our mighty master. They can't invade the king of the Brumbies country and get away with it. <laughs> Thunder! Rain! Rotain upset! Disaster! <laughs> Disaster! <laughs> It is, sire. What did I tell you? So, they think they can turn the high country into a barren waste, do they? Wombat? <coughs> What's the rush? A wet head. Wet head. Typical. Can't even enjoy a quiet rest at home without being swamped. Swamped? What happened? Oh, never mind. Never mind. Nobody cares what happens to poor old Wombat. But at least we got out. All together again. Safe and sound. Uh, Wombat? Not quite together. Hey, what do you mean? Your son, he's not here. Hey, well he's always there. At the, at the end of the line. What? Where is he? Where? Where? Mopo, Mopo. Hey, that missing son of yours is quite a scamp. When last seen, he was hanging round the monster's camp. Is he old enough to think about hiding from it? Old enough? He's old enough to eat. That's all he thinks about. It's to be hoped that he's come to no harm. We'll come back with you. Something's different. It's the quiet. I can't hear the stream. It's usually very noisy around here. I told you I got a wet head. Something's happened to the stream. Hmm. Very strange.
What? What now? This has gone too far. I've had it. Not only rubbish, but the animals can't even get a drink as well. Just returning what rightfully belongs to you. Huh? Hey! Get rid of them properly next time, or take them with you. Hey! Cut it out, old man. You made your point. I'll cut it out when you give me back my water supply. Damned idiots. I bet you're responsible for our water supply drying up. I can't think what you've done to the homes of the animals and birds. I think the old prospector must be giving them a piece of his mind. <laughs> Good job, too. I just wish I could start up that monster of theirs and push them right back out of the high country. Even that, unfortunately, wouldn't repair the damage that's already been done. That's right. Some of those trees they've knocked over have been there for hundreds of years. <laughs> that's the way, mighty monster masher. You cool off after teaching those intruders a much-needed lesson. I'm sure I saw a slight dent in the front of that thing. Oh, such bravery. What a charge. I haven't seen anything like that since Thaura jumped the ravine with a man in tow. Uh, <laughs> what? Oh, no, no, no offence intended, sire. Of course. I didn't notice that puny weakling charging the monster. Only the great Brolga would have decided to charge head-on into an unstoppable metallic clanking contraption that no one could hope to halt. <laughs> Just as I thought. Did it occur to you that you might need water too? And what about the animals? Blockheads. Some engineer you are. OK, OK. We'll get the dozer down there and clear it. Take her away, Frank! Now, the next thing is, where's that son of yours, Wombat? Oh, my son! Oh, something's happening. I can sense danger. Above the din. Benny, do something quick. There's nothing I can do to help. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Hurry, somebody do something. Hey, look at this. Bad room. Huh? What's going on, old fella? What's up? Oh, no. A baby wombat. Stop! Stop! Thing. Yeah, saved in the nick of time. But how many weren't saved and how many animals have lost their homes? Yeah, I guess we hadn't given it much thought. Build your road if you must, but remember, the bush is their home and you are the visitors. Just look at this. Typical. 
good a wet home is gonna do for me rheumatism. It is a shame, Wombat. But at least baby Wombat is safe. And that is the main thing. Yes, you're right. And, um, I'd uh, like to thank you and Benny for your help. It was a pleasure, Wombat. Anytime. There are many ways man can be a danger to the creatures of the high country. It wouldn't be long before they brought the fear and destruction of the bushfire. a much needed lesson. I'm sure I saw a slight dent in the front of that thing. Oh, such bravery. What a charge. I haven't seen anything like that since Thaura jumped the ravine with a man in tow. Uh, <laughs> what? Oh, no, no, no offense intended, sire. Of course. I didn't notice that puny weakling charging the monster. Only the great Brolga would have decided to charge head-on into an unstoppable metallic clanking contraption that no one could hope to halt. <laughs> Just as I thought. Did it occur to you that you might need water too? And what about the animals? Blockheads. Some engineer you are. Okay, okay. We'll get the dozer down there and clear it. Take her away, Frank! Now the next thing is, where's that son of yours, Wombat? Oh, my son! Oh, something's happening. I can sense danger. Above the din. Benny, do something quick. There's nothing I can do to help. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Hurry, somebody do something. Hey, look at this. Bad room. Huh? What's going on, old fella? What's up? Oh, no. A baby wombat. Stop! Stop! Family. <laughs> oh, thank heavens you're safe. Hey, cut it out. What's all the fuss about anyway? Phew. That was a near thing. Yeah, saved in the nick of time. But how many were? The spirit was born.
nature has a way with her. Things that might at first glance seem twisted or gnarled have their own beauty and their own uses. But man, who professes to love beauty, loves convenience more. The time had come when man wanted a more convenient way of getting to the high country. that meant spoiling some of its beauty, then so be it. But it was a while before the mountain creatures realized what was happening. be rain. It doesn't smell like rain. Oh no! Eggs have been abandoned in that tree! Their fate has been left all up to me! Ah. Ah. That's a relief. Scrambled eggs were not to be, but it's a shame about that lovely old tree. Mobo, Mobo, thank you for saving my eggs. I no longer think you're just the dregs. Ooh. Oh, that's okay. I'm glad to help you. And I'm inclined to think you're not so bad, too. <laughs> oh, sire, sire. What's the panic, Karawong? Oh, mighty Prolga. It breathes fire and smoke and rumbles and roars. What are you talking about, Karawong? Calm down. It's yellow. Makes grinding noises. Devours trees and belches toxic fumes. All right, Karawong. What's the prize? Prize, oh worshipful wonder horse? For guessing the answer to the riddle. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you understand, mighty Brolga. The men creatures have invaded with a monster that is consuming the high country at a rate of one large lake per second. What? That's what I've been trying to tell you, sire. The smoke and the noise, all from this hideous beast. Get going, Karawong. Lead the way. Yes, sir. We'll show them, our mighty master. They can't invade the king of the Brumbies' country and get away with it. <laughs> Thunder! Rain! Rotain upset! Disaster! <laughs> Disaster! Disaster! <laughs> there it is, sire. What did I tell you? So... They think they can turn the high country into a barren waste, do they? Nobody cares what happens to poor old Wombat. But at least we got out. All together again, safe and sound. Uh, Wombat, not quite together. Hey, what do you mean? 
Your son. He's not here. Hey, but he's always there. At, at, at the end of the line. What? Where is he? Where? Where? Boopoo. Boopoo. Why? That missing son of yours is quite a scamp. When last seen, he was hanging round the monster's camp. Is he old enough to think about hiding from it? Old enough? He's old enough to eat. That's all he thinks about. It's to be hoped that he's come to no harm. We'll come back with you. Something's different. It's the quiet. I can't hear the stream. It's usually very noisy around here. I told you I got a wet head. Something's happened to the stream. Hmm. Very strange. Animals can't even get a drink as well. Returning what rightfully belongs to you. Huh? Hey! Get rid of them properly next time, or take them with you. Hey! Cut it out, old man. You made your point. I'll cut it out when you give me back my water. <gasps> Mopoke. Mopoke. Ah. Oh. Hi, Mopoke. Good morning, Mopoke. You still up? Tis time for the world to rise and shine. Anything else would be a waste of time. You haven't seen Baby Wombat anywhere, have you? His father's out searching for him. If it's a clue you're after, I may be some help. Just keep your ears open for the sound of a yelp. Sound of a yelp? That's not much of a clue, Mopoke. <laughs> huh? <laughs> While not all creatures are as smart as a grey kangaroo, Mopokes are known to be pretty smart too. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Thara. He's Thara. I'm Benny. Time for you to go home, Baby Wombat. Your father's looking for you. He's very worried. Well, whatever you say, Thara. I, I, I was just having a game with my friends here That's and... That's all right. Games with friends are important, but not worrying your father is more important right now. Off you go. <laughs> yes, yes, off I go. Oh, whoops! <laughs> typical, typical. Yes? Oh, oh, nothing. Oh, typical of me to uh, run into something. That something was me. Your home is back that way. <laughs> yes, that's where I want to go. Thank you, Thara. <laughs> oh, bye, Dingoes. <laughs> Thanks for the game. Bye, Wombat. Come and play again soon. Hello, Benny, Thara. What are you... Looking after wayward children, I think. Very wise. Ever since the men started building that track... What track? It is said to be near the Prospector's Creek. Six horses wide, <laughs> so to speak. I don't believe it. Why would they do that? 
It's true enough. Haven't you heard the noise? A big metal monster they have, grunting and rumbling and growling. So that's what the noise was. It's a great danger to all the high country creatures, especially the little ones. That's why I'm trying to keep a close eye on my two. Oh, so that'd be right. Always something in the way. Well, that'd be right. Oh, kookaburras, kookaburras tend to laugh till they drop. But if you ask me, they have the brains of a mop. Mopoke, Mopoke, you're so fond of yourself, but to me, you're just a. <laughs> He can't hear you above the din. Benny, do something quick. There's nothing I can do to help. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Hurry, somebody do something. Hey, look at this. Bad brew, huh? What's going on, old fella? What's up? Oh, no. A baby wombat. Stop! Stop! Family. <laughs> Thank heaven you're safe. Hey, cut it out. What's all the fuss about anyway? Phew. That was a near thing. Yeah, saved in the nick of time. But how many weren't saved and how many animals have lost their homes? Yeah, I guess we hadn't given it much thought. Build your road if you must, but remember... The bush is their home, and you are the visitors. What a wet home is going to do for me rheumatism. It is a shame, Wombat. But at least baby Wombat is safe. And that is the main thing. Yes, you're right. And, um, I'd uh, like to thank you and Benny for your help. It was a pleasure, Wombat. Any time. There are many ways man can be a danger to the creatures of the high country. It wouldn't be long before they brought the fear and destruction of a bushfire. <laughs> <laughs>